Hello and welcome back to more Dad Hack Quarantine. Still a bit stuffy. Getting better though. Voice is uh, slightly returning. I know as if I, I talk at a higher pitch. It's a little easier to understand. Or not a higher pitch, but if I just raise my voice a bit louder, I'm easier to understand than if I was just talking. Normally, we can really hear the gruff in my voice. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep our voice as high as possible, but I am a mumbler. Anyways, I went ahead already and did my inventory management, placed what I needed into my box, sold off everything we didn't need, and now we're going to move on. I also double-checked what area we're going to be heading to, and as it turns out, the two net slum areas, or net slum resident recommended areas, we do not have enough virus cores for. So... We're gonna go to the area where it said Subaru is supposed to show up and see if she actually happens to show up. So that's gonna be interesting. So without further ado, let's get in the game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, get our party members together. This part I didn't do. I figured you all would just like to see this. Uh, looks like level 85 is still the low. We got five, one, one. In 512, it might be another Sandro Moonstone mission. Let's see if we got anybody else that is lower. Oh, 470 elk. Uh, da, 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 da. So, is it an elk Moonstone mission? It's an elk Sandro mission. Let's get Sandro in the party. Oh, it's you. Wait just a minute. And let's get elk. Um, okay. Elk's not available. I thought he became available after we did that one fight. But, uh, nope. Apparently not. So, Moonstone. There we go. Another Sandro Moonstone mission. I'm coming. He's really excited to be here. Uh, we don't really have to do anything else except go off into the area. So let's just move on. We need to pause or do any of that. We're gonna head on over to, what is it? Obedient Someone's Knights. The keyword on the board, a player is calling for Subaru. Will she appear? I figured this area did not need uh, any virus cores, and I'm glad I was right about that. But we need to get some virus cores, so we're gonna be data training. It's a very large and empty area around here. Alright, let's go ahead and... Very so. Quite a lot of portals nearby. I'm gonna go off. Should I do the two portals in front? How is the distance on them? Oh, these, I feel like they're both gonna activate at once. Start with this one. Your skills. Uh, we got our stealth blades equipped. Sweet. Let's go in with our. Shoot, was it paralyzed or sleep? Let's get this thing to sleep. Put him to sleep. Or Biani down. And the other one too. Put him to sleep. Boom, there we go. Now I just finish him off. Your physical tolerance, so everyone needs your magic. Same. Oh, where am I at? Green. I can't data train this time around. Oh, uh, we don't have any light magic, but we do got this darkness. And since they're not dark intolerant, I'm just gonna do that. So oh, man. Work with them to do this. Ooh, 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 ooh. So it gets them out quicker. There we go. 
The other one woke up too, but he's out of here. I move. Oh. oh, Miami's on. Because I need to get uh, some cores, I am going to uh, go and fight the rest of these portals in order to get more virus cores. So, I'll see you at the last battle. And we're back. Going for the last portal. Got a lot of virus core K's, but we need L's as well. I think I see J in there too. Which we gotta find smaller monsters for Jay. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. And let's see. Two very nice. It's a lot of the same monsters that we're fighting over and over again, too. Glares, pumpkin heads, and then the uh, chicken lady. Death glares are uh, one of my least favorite things to fight. Jesus. Took them both out. cooldown between their attack is just absolutely ridiculous. There's like no cooldown whatsoever. I just brought him back. It's about going into the dungeon. Getting that all cleared out. Little briny guard, which I'm sure does absolutely nothing. Let's see. Briny guard is a level 61 hand armor. Yeah. All right. I'll see you in the dungeon. Fairy's orb. This is where a Subaru is supposed to show up. So I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. Old Lich Lord. Paralyze their magic intolerance. We're just gonna go in with our darkness attacks. Oh, the darkness slash. Boom. Oh, boom. Okay. I 
I don't think I am going to rush through this at all because higher scores are needed. Sandro has recruits.
damage. Virus core. Give us your virus core. Let him sleep. Oh, get out there. Use your magic attack. Make God bomb. Sandro's got one hell of a recovery rate, though. I would feel like he's the one who's, like, casting the most. And yet his SP just does not want to drop. The fair is over. Oops. 
side. started doing is going back and watching the old family guys again. Hey, I'm on Hulu, and I'm at season four, which I think is where they were canceled at the end of season three and then brought back. And, uh, just, I forget how funny that show was. That show cracks me up so much. Just the type of humor that it has. And the whole thing that got me to go back and watch it was because I saw a small, small clip with Stewie and Brian, and they're like in a spaceship. And Stewie just goes, Look, Brian, there's Meg on the uh, camera screen. She's digging around in the cargo hold. Let's give her a little scare, and he opens up the door, and she just, like, gets sucked right into space. <laughs> His eye, his, he just goes from, like, being happy that he's gonna mess with her, to just the eyes widening, not saying anything, <laughs> and she just gets sucked right into outer space. I saw that, and I started cracking up so much. And I was like, God, I haven't watched Family Guy in so long. I need to start watching that again. I need a good laugh. And even going back watching these old episodes does not disappoint. I will say they did censor a few things though. Like there was the episode where <clears throat> Peter was going to give uh, Chris a bat mitzvah. Not a, yeah, bar mitzvah, bar mitzvah, not bat mitzvah. Uh, bar mitzvah and um, they went to Vegas to go and do it and then Lois finds out and she's uh, trying to get uh, Quagmire's car so she goes over and asks for the keys <laughs> and he usually in the original version He's like, hang on, let me check, and he's just in his robe. And you see him just kind of like moving around his hand, right around his crotch area, just like for a long period of time before he finally gives her the keys. And in the edited version, he's like, hang on, let me get them, and he just like, a, a second, and he goes, oh, here they are, and gives them to her. So they cut down that whole bit. Oh, we had a negative. Oh, we got Virus Core K out of it. <laughs> was Kate the only so he needed? The J's. I thought I could get a J from that guy. No, apparently he's a medium. Shocked me that the uh, edited a lot 
lot of their jokes and things like that. They should have just left it was that. I mean, the joke was told. It happened. There's nothing you can really change about it. I think by actually changing it, you make it worse. Like South Park, for instance, I think has just kind of stuck to being South Park. They haven't really changed too much. I don't feel like they've toned down a whole, whole lot like uh, some of the other shows. I think Simpsons toned down a lot. And I haven't really seen later Family Guy stuff to tell or not. If they changed it, but the fact that they have edited their first few seasons and out jokes or just like uh, cut down jokes they probably did they probably have toned down too trying to progress through the story and I had to go do the virus core hunt and wound up going to like five or six different locations. And I finally was just like, I can't uh, keep going to these random locations in the hopes that I find someone who does this. Or has that one virus core I can data drain from. So I had to look online at forums that are all from like 2008, 2009. Which I'm glad they're still around. I'm glad they still kept them up. Game FAQs was like one of the earlier video game websites that I would go to all the time to get game cheats from. And look at like walkthroughs and stuff like that. And uh, it's still going. It's still up. They're still making walkthroughs for uh, games now that are coming out. Putting in codes, stuff like that. It's really good. Really cute. I really like it. Fun times. I need them in a future, and you know what? That makes sense. There could 
gonna be further game story portals where I'm gonna need more virus port keys. I'm just thinking about the here and the now. see different missions just how to do certain character missions because it's really like time sensitive if you get further into uh, the mission or the story like exploring the, the map a little more you could miss out on certain things so i wanted to make sure that this ran around because this was like my third time no second time uh playing again I was doing a faith build and I was struggling to do it and I was like, you know, let me try something different. So I went and did a samurai and I just wanted to do like a samurai playthrough where I'm sticking just to doing like katanas and samurai armor and things like that. And I remember friends telling me like that's uh, not a good idea. <laughs> You're going to struggle. That's going to be tough to do. Slash. Try it out. See what happens. Cruise. How are we on data tree on this one? Take him out. Let's move on. I know the uh, walkthrough guides are very helpful. Because I knew where to go, where to teleport to, what area I needed to be at. Whereas before, I probably would just go right past it and not do anything with the story. Like I did the first time around. And I recorded myself playing the game, I think for the most part, before I decided, uh, I don't think I'm going to edit this or go through and do all this. Because it was right around the time when the new DLC came out. I and I was thinking to myself that, uh... This isn't new DLC, this is old stuff. People aren't really going to play the old stuff. They would much rather see the DLC. And I was on my way to try and get to the DLC. But it was going to take time. Because there's, like, bosses that I haven't ever beaten before. I beat the first boss. Um... And who else is there? I can't even think of the names of the other people. I want to say I probably only did the first boss. Because I never got to Melania. I never got to... because I haven't been to them. What was the... the... moon chick? I never got to her. I'm at the castle. I went to that castle to complete a certain mission to do the samurai mission. There's a, a samurai NPC. And that's like where you get the better... Um... Katana from is from that guy. And so I was going through trying to get that, to get the better katana. And uh, apparently a better armor too, it was like a, a headpiece that you can get from. Could have gone through and just like killed him and got the stuff for it that way, but I wanted to do the quest because you still get him at the end. He still winds up dying at the end. So it's like a whole tragedy on top of fighting a stronger boss. So it was more fun to go through that route as opposed to just killing him right off at the beginning, which I did with my faith build. What was I trying to get in here for? There's no reason for me to be in the menu. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
close the last floor. Artisan soul. Are we gonna see a Subaru? Is there gonna be a dragon? Nope. The last portal. I'm just passing by. Well, too bad. Not allowed to pass by. Your look is very unusual. Thank you. If you're in some kind of trouble, I'll help. Oh, give me your member address? Please do. But sorry, I'm on a business trip again starting tomorrow. I think I can help you. Well, how about that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it may be none of my business, but if you're waiting for Subaru, it's a waste of your time. I just came here to tell all the fanboys that. Mm -hmm. She doesn't... She died. No, it's nothing. She doesn't log in anymore. I'm just talking to myself. Ignore me. Ignore who? I can't help you, but I'm rooting for you. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. Here, use this. Crim Spear. So long, celebrity. I'm a celebrity. <sighs> God, I was getting excited there. I thought he was going to give us his member address. They put the models for the characters from the Dihack Sign anime. But, uh, can't play as them. Can't, can't have them on here. Can't have them as, as part of members. How good is Crim's spear? Let's check it out. Level 88. It's pretty good. It's a rare. Gives you Givak Doom, which is a two-handed fire attack. Level 3. Another level 3 fire attack. Givak Vortex. And then a level 3 fire attack. Who would have guessed? Vax Tempest. Along with the added effect of critical hit. So yeah, that'll be great to give to Gardenia... Or nuke. Depending on just who we wind up adding next. But there you have it. I think I now have enough. We're going to check real quick while I have the recording going. We're going to check our word list and see if I have enough to go to these areas. If not, that means after I get done editing this video... I'm going to be going through and doing some virus core hunting. Yeah, I need more J. And I think that's going to be the same thing with the other one, too. Luckily, I have an, an area saved where I can go and get uh, J cores. Yep, need J core here, too. So by my count, that's four J cores that we need. Damn. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack Quarantine. Goodbye.